All right, so hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're going to take a quick look at our newest heavy blade that was just released with Chroma Prime, the Gram Prime. Now, just like with any other primed item, you get the parts for Gram Prime by opening relics. The blueprint is an uncommon drop from the Axie 04 relic, the blade is a common drop from the Meso S8 relic, and the handle is a rare drop from the Neo G1 relic. However, since it is only built out of three different parts, one blueprint, one blade, and one handle, you will also have to put in 10 Orokin cells. The Grand Prime is unsurprisingly a heavy blade that requires you to be at least mastery rank 14 to use it and it does a gargantuous 180 damage per hit. 135 of which is slash, 36 is impact and 9 is puncture. So it does almost twice as much damage as the regular Gram. Now it is slow and by slow I mean really slow, it has a base attack speed of 0.8 which is the lowest out of all the heavy blades. But the supporting stats are just disgusting, it has a base crit chance of 32% with a 26 times crit multiplier and a 32% status chance. It also comes with somewhat of a unique passive, it has a bigger slam radius and it also slams enemies more violently so it will ragdoll them much harder than other weapons which is not really a good thing unless you want to go for crowd control because it has a tendency to bump enemies out of your melee range. There's also something fishy going on with the combo multiplier at the moment because it cannot go past two times combo and it takes way longer to get there than normal weapons but some people are saying that that is a bug and it is sort of an artifact of melee 3.0 that accidentally slipped in. And I cannot confirm nor deny this because I wasn't able to find an official statement that would say that it is indeed a bug and it will be fixed. And finally, the weapon comes with a D polarity in the stand slot and two V polarities. Now, the setup I ended up liking the most on the Grand Prime is a simple one forma build where I've added a V. Now, one thing that actually matters an awful lot on this setup is the stuns because of the aforementioned passive where your slams are far more violent, so I actually went with Cleaving Whirlwind and decided to drop Tempo Royale completely. But it's not something you necessarily have to do yourself. The way I would look at it is that Cleaving Whirlwind is better for doing damage, whereas Tempo Royale is going to be a lot more defensive because you're going to be using the block combo and you're going to get the huge slams on top of that, so you're going to get a ton of crowd control as well. Now, as far as the mods are concerned, I went with Blood Rush, even though you can only get to two times combo at the moment, because with such a huge base crit chance, even a two times combo is going to push you to somewhere between 130 and 140 percent crit chance. So it's definitely better than true steel here. Then to capitalize on those crits and get some crit multiplier, I went with Organ Chatter, which on this weapon pushes you to 4.9 times, which is absolutely huge. And that is followed up by Vicious Frost and Virulent Scourge for a ton of status chance and some viral damage. This works really well with the high slash damage that the weapon comes with. Then I wanted to scale the damage even further and I went with Condition Overload. So as we hit the enemy and we proc status on them, we do more and more damage, which then intensifies our slash procs. And since the Grand Prime is ridiculously slow, I had to add both Berserker and Prime Fury to make the weapon feel good because neither of these on their own was giving enough attack speed for my liking. But it's not just about the feel. It's also very beneficial to a setup like this because you want to attack fast so you can proc more status and do more damage. And I topped it all off with some raw damage scaling in the form of Prime Pressure Point. Now, even though you can currently only get to a 2 times combo multiplier with this, it is still disgustingly strong. Though it does have a bit of a ramp up because you need to proc Berserker, you need to get to that 2 times combo multiplier, and then you need to hit the enemy once or twice to proc some status and activate condition overload. But boy oh boy, once you get rolling, you get rolling hard. That high base damage combined with high crit chance, high crit multi, high status, it just decimates absolutely everything. What I like about it the most though is that it has a ton, or should I say, a million grams. <laughs> I should be arrested for that. Of upfront damage, so the initial few hits don't actually feel that weak. You also may have noticed during the build section that I'm not using any combo duration mods and I decided to cover that with Power Spike from Naramon which makes your combo counter decay slowly over time rather than just completely drop. And that's because I can't really drop any mods from the build without losing a crazy amount of damage or just straight up breaking it because if you remove any of the status mods the build doesn't work. If you remove condition overload, that's half your damage gone. And if you remove either the attack speed or crit chance, the weapon isn't gonna feel great. And once again, you're gonna lose a lot of damage. 
so I felt like going Naramon and picking up Power Spike was the best way to do things. And now we finally come to the conclusion, so what do I actually think about the Grand Prime? Well, I was sort of lukewarm about it until I tried this build, because I was playing around with Tempo Royale and the slams were getting really annoying because they were constantly bouncing enemies out of my melee range, which, while funny, isn't very good. But I do really like it overall, and if the combo counter thing is indeed a bug, so they will fix it and you will be able to go above 2 times combo multiplier, it's going to be straight up the most disgusting melee weapon in the game, period. I mean, you can just imagine it, look at how much damage it's doing now, multiply that by 3, because you're gonna be doing red crits, and there it is, that's pretty much what it's gonna be like, it's gonna be this times 3. And that's just ridiculous, but anyway, I think I've been blabbering for long enough, so this weapon gets a thumbs up from me, I think it's quite fun, especially with this kind of setup, and I thank you very much for watching, as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time, bye bye.